hello guys I, I am back with the new topic today in this video i will tell you how to perform all arithmetic operations on two numbers uh, we will get these two numbers from user and uh, all arithmetic operations like subtraction addition multiplication we can, will be performed in this video and uh, we will also display some messages on screen like enter first number uh, and the second number addition subtraction multiplication and so on so let's follow the whole steps i will do in this video so first of all in this video we will initialize variables we will initialize variables with some values first of all i am going to initialize strings with some initial values that is first uh, message is enter first number with comma zero and uh, second message is enter second number with comma zero and uh, here dd is the size of string and the third message is addition is this message will be used when we display the addition of two numbers fourth message is subtraction is this will also used when we display the subtraction of two numbers and the next message is multiplication is uh, this will used when we display the multiplication of two numbers and uh, in the last one message is we will display the division is while performing the division in our program and at last we will initialize two variables with no values as their values we will get from the user during the program execution so we will leave the value portion with question mark so let's begin the program programming of our project first of all we will display the message enter first number that we will use move edx comma offset message and then call write string to display the the string on screen and then call readint basically call readint is used for two purpose first of all to get input from user and the second is to stable the console screen after getting input from user we will move the value of the value that is present in ex register into variable the value we are moving in variable we can also use this value further in our program and then again displaying the second message enter second number again the same method move edx offset message and then call write string call read in to get input from user and again moving the value into the variable one to use it for further in our program and then we are going to perform our arithmetic operations first operation that we will perform in this video is that we will perform addition to perform addition we have to move one number into ex register and then we will add second number into ex register and then we will display addition message on screen that is move edx comma offset message and call right string to display that string on screen and then call right int to display the result of addition and now we will perform the subtraction of these two numbers 
to perform the subtraction of these two numbers we will move the value one variable value into ex register and then perform subtraction subtract ex comma second variable value and then we will display the subtraction message move edx comma offset message message number and then call write string and after call write string call write in to display the result of subtraction now we will perform multiplication in our program to perform multiplication we will use two registers first one is a cumulative register and the second one is base register we will move the variable value that is our variable one into ex register and the second variable value into ebx register also if you want that code this the link of that code will be available in the description that will redirect you to my website and after moving variable values into registers you have to write mul evx and again you have to display the message that multiplication is then call write string to display that message on screen and then call write int basically call write int is used for to write an integer on screen and after that we will perform the division in our program to perform division we have to set our edx register to zero if you uh, cannot set this register to zero you will face an error the, the error will be an exception handling and edx register is used for to store the remainder of our division so i am moving move edx comma zero that is making the value of edx to zero and then also here two registers will be used first one is a cumulative register and second one is base register in a cumulative register that is ex so i will move the variable one value and in abx register i will move the second variable value and after that we will display the message that division is that is same as move vdx comma offset message number uh, that is message number five then call write string and after that call write int to display the result of our division and if you want to show that what is in present in our remainder that is edx you can also display that on screen you have to move the value of edx register into ex register and here we will use call crlf to enter the new line move ex comma edx will be used to display the remainder and uh, call write int to write the remainder on screen and then build our program if you are facing such kind of error constant value too large then you you can do that change the data data size of your messages that i am going to move all messages to db and after that i will build my program again and check whether the same error is coming or not 
and here you can see the build is succeeded no error has been found so let's start the bugging after starting the bugging you can see on screen the message is displayed and you can enter number and all the arithmetic operations are performed here now you have to make your pro program a little bit clean so make your program a little bit clean you have to use the command call CRLF to enter the new line so I will place all call CRLF after the all arithmetic operations program lines first of all after the addition section I will place call CRLF and then after the subtraction section I will place call CRLF and then multiplication and then subtraction so on the complete code will be available on my website and the link of my website will be available in the description of this video and here you can uh, you have to use div ebx in the division section and then build and then start debugging enter any two numbers the required result is given on screen thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon